In creating our color palettes, we don't need to make a million color palettes. 10 will typically get the trick done. Here I have 13. One of those is an LED black that I'll use sometimes, and one is no color. And one is UV, which is a specialized filter that some fixtures have. So as far as the colors are concerned, I do have 10 colors that I basically use. I've arrived at these palettes by what the Sharpie can do because they have hard color frames and I find them in a lot of rigs that I end up busking. So I want to make sure that all of my color palettes that I make are compatible with the hard color frames that are in the Sharpies. You can choose whatever colors you want. You certainly don't have to use these ones. Um, but I found that as a good rule of thumb of what can everything do and, and decide what my palettes are around that. I also lay them out by the color of the rainbow. Um, so it's really quickly and easy to, to find them. So let's go through and let's build some of these palettes. So if I was to grab a group of lights and I was to bring them to full here, they're already in white. I know that's going to be my first no color palette. So I want an easy way to just talk about these particular lights. I'm going to actually use a little trick. I'm going to make them manual, which is going to make all of that color information manual values. Because now I can use record only and tap on that color palette. And I've made color palette one, uh, which is my no color color palette. Now, right now, this palette only will affect the lights that I've recorded into it, which are the lights that are on. I want this to affect every spot fixture in my rig, so I need to make this by type. So directly after I record that, I actually get the soft key on soft key one that says by type. If I go ahead and hit by type enter, I'm going to get this little T uh, in my color palette, and that's going to make that by type. I also get this little plus, which means there's discrete values in there, because I grabbed a bunch of lights. Right? And there's one leader light and all the rest follows. So it says, well, you've got a bunch of stuff going on here. We don't know what to do. There I'm going to use uh, soft key 5 un in, under my CIA. It says clean up. And if I hit clean up, that little plus is going to go away. That's what it's going to say is, hey, if you're all using the same values, just pick the first channel as the leader channel. And I'm going to go through. I'm going to make this for all of my different colors. So I'm going to grab those same lights again with select last. And now I want to make red because Roy G. Biv, red is the first one. So I happen to know, because I do this a lot, that full magenta and full yellow are going to make red. On my TI here, I have a dedicated screen for my encoders. If I'm on a Geo or a Geo at 5, I can open my encoder display. Uh, I can do through the parameter tiles. There's a bunch of different ways I can send magenta and yellow to full. I've created this red. I'm going to do the same process over again. Record only, tap on the tile, by type, enter, clean up, enter. Now, I, so I'm going to be doing this over and over and over and again. So guess what I have? I have a macro that says that's by type and cleanup. And all it does is that by type and cleanup action for me. So it just saves me a little bit of time. Right? So next would be orange. So I can grab that group of lights again. And I know that if I dial back a little bit of the magenta, I can get to a nice orange. Now with my macro, I can make that step a lot faster. Record only, three, my by type and cleanup macro, and we're done. And I move on. And what that allows me to do now is I can grab all of my spots, turn them on, and make them orange because it's a by type color palette. So I, I do this for all of my fixtures. The one weird color palette that you may have noticed in here that I use is black. Uh, it's not necessary, but a lot of people will use it for LED fixtures, so I wanted to address it really quickly. Uh, what LED black is is all the LEDs in a fixture at zero. And what this allows you to do is kind of run um, two ch intensity chases simultaneously in a weird way. Because I can have an intensity chase running on the intensity parameters and a color chase containing LED black running on those same LEDs. Um, and it kind of can create a cool effect sometimes. So I do have black. It doesn't necessarily make as much sense for CMY moving lights and stuff like that. But it's more of an LED thing.